God, you're not uh, using super. You've got to be joking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, why, why not? Because of the Neil Kinsey um, uh, seminar, he described um, how superphosphate was made, and I actually got on to Google and I did my own research on how superphosphate is made and why it locks up. And the CSIRO have done a lot of um, research and it's, it's um, easily available on the web where it tells you that uh, there's so many millions of tonnes of phosphorus that are locked up in our soils in Australia um, because of um, the, the attachment of phosphorus to, to calcium, you know, the positive and negative. It, it binds and, um, you know, superphosphate is made because you flush it with sulfuric acid just to get rid of the calcium. And um, uh, because it, it's tightly bound, if you put um, uh, the the parent material, the um, uh, the superphosphate that, that's untreated, and you put it on into the soil, it, it takes I don't know probably 20 or 30 years, you know, to to unlock. That's why they uh, flush it with sulfuric acid to take the um, the calcium off, and it makes and and you add sulphur, of course. Um, but when you put it into the soil, what happens? There's heaps of um, calcium in the soil and, and it um, reattaches again and it, yeah. and it binds up. It's a simple chemistry lesson and um, you get a kick from superphosphate, um, there's no doubt about that, but within, I don't know, maybe a month or, or so, it locks up. So, you know, it's like getting a $10 bill and, and ripping it in half and throwing it away. So, no, I don't use superphosphate because there's far better uh, products around, you know, starting with reactive phosphate rock. Um, and, um, you know, there's, there's uh, liquid calciums and guano and other products, but I basically use um, uh, reactive phosphate rock.